And good evening. Oh, here we go. Let's fix that. There we are. How's everybody doing tonight? Hopefully you can hear me okay. Let's just get rid of some stuff here. Oh, wow. Hello. Let me get rid of that. There we go. All right. Well, we are live here. It's Jeff from Home Renovision. Not wearing a blue shirt tonight. That's all right. Hey, what's up, Nemesis? Good to see you in here. We're, uh, you know, just hanging out tonight. I was kind of like, oh, here comes everybody. Hello. I know you got your notifications. That's awesome. Cheers. Hey, one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And here we go. Yes, it's a live show tonight. Yes, it's tonight. Hmm. Listen, I, uh, I'm actually pretty freaking exhausted. <laughs> ah, I've been working my butt off at the house. Hey, everybody. Wow, look at everybody. Hello from Belgium. My goodness. Uh, so many folks from so many places. Um, my wife, Michelle, is going to be in the chat tonight, so everybody behave. <laughs> uh, man, you know what? Let me just, yeah, I got to let the chat go. What am I drinking? All right, so y'all know my poison. It's crown and ginger, right? It's just it's just nothing like crown and ginger after 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 seven thirty. Mm. Ah, might even break into some champagne later. We're kind of excited. There's a lot going on around here. Um, our life has been crazy busy. First of all, how is the sound? Is, do I sound okay? Somebody type yes or you sound like crap. Please let me know. Uh, Brooklyn, New York's in the house. Hey. All right. Sounds good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, it's funny. You know, I ask a question. I got about eight second delay before I get a response. Wow. Awesome. Okay. So there's no sound problem. My video problem, no problem. I'm actually up here in Canada. I'm on a fiber optic network. So my upload speed for anybody who's into this kind of stuff is a little around 900 megabytes a second. I'm not sure what that means, but apparently it's pretty darn good. So it makes this kind of thing real easy to do. I'm just streaming with a USB mic and a USB camera hanging on the top of my laptop. And as long as I'm in Canada, I probably can do this anytime I want to. All right, guys. So here's the big news. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, we launched a Spanish channel. Um, it's going to be live at 8 o'clock tonight. Yes, it's Renovision on Espanol. Uh, my Spanish is brutal, which is why we hired a team in Colombia. Uh, great story. We had a guy who, um, Javier, big shout out. If anybody saw the birthday video for my 50th birthday, Javier is the guy that put that together. And he has a friend who works in the um, uh, Colombian radio. He's on the national radio. And man, that guy's got a voice. Like I sound like Kermit the Frog, right? This guy's amazing. And I was like... What a great opportunity because, you know, when I'm, when I'm teaching stuff in the videos, like some of them are fun and whatever, but some of them are just technical. And you don't want to be trying to watch the instruction while you're reading a translation. So we decided that we were going to try something new because YouTube has translation services, but they don't have anything like what we're doing. We actually paid someone to go into a studio and dub it all over again. And so we're really excited about this because, you know, it's going to be funny as we go along because Matt and Nate are both going to be dubbed. Michelle's going to be dubbed when she's in the videos. It's going to be really fun. Anyway, oh, I wanted to get on the camera tonight because I am COVID crazy. Right? Like the rest of us. Just going nuts trying to get my work done at the house. Supply issues and then the weather is not cooperating lately. And we're, we're losing our mind a little bit. I think it may have, so it's just nice. I wanted to sit down and talk to my community and talk to you guys and just hang a little bit and have a drink with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, right? Sometimes it's just like, uh, look, at I'm pulling all my hair out. I only got like nine left, I think. I don't know what's going on. Man, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> all right. So we got the Spanish channel starting in about 15 or 20 minutes, give or take where you are. And, and that'll be great. I'm really hoping to get a lot of you guys watching the video. Okay, I'd love to hear in the comment section on the video on that channel tonight, the kind of videos, if you have any favorite videos that we've done that you'd like to see dubbed. Um, 
if it's the shorter versions of format or the long format videos, you know, I'm going to let you guys drive. So <laughs> why not? We got a few hundred videos been produced already on our channel. And if we're going to be doing a Spanish language channel, I'm not going to just have them all dubbed right away, right? We've got to do a slower release package. It takes a lot of work and effort for these guys to do this. So they're going to pump out one video a week. And right now we're pumping it too, me and Max, right? So if we can get the guys down in Colombia to do once a week, then I'd love to get some feedback from you guys, which ones you like to see. So then we can help direct and, and give you what you want to see that you think is most important and relevant information of the day, right? And there we go. Oh, yeah. Well, how many people? I don't even know how many people we got. Oh, there we are. There's actually a number on my screen. Man, I still swing a hammer for a living. This tech stuff really gets me going. All right. Uh, yeah, right? You like the shed stuff? Listen, I got a new shed video coming up. Let me do some, um, some self-promotion here while I got you guys' attention. We have a new shed video series that we're going to be filming next week. It's a little bit bigger, right? And we're bringing power out to the shed. So we're going to be filming that. So you can learn how to run power underground and follow all the rules. So you pass inspections. We're going to be showing you a very, very simple system. The last one I did had a couple of interesting complications with it. This one is like really simple. Uh, I think it's going to blow your mind. And it's designed to carry bigger snow load. And it's going to be a much bigger shed. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Not too big. I guess ridiculous. I think it's still going to be very much uh, affordable, but we did a, a lot of things differently and upgraded a little bit. So it's going from DIY shed to maybe, uh, you know, somewhere to stick your mother-in-law. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Actually, it's going to be pretty comfortable. It's my leg another. Um, listen, here's another thing, guys. We got, my wife has been working so crazy hard. Everybody, you give a big shout out to Michelle. We love Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. She's been putting together a uh, forum, okay? We're paying engineers. They're developing this thing from scratch. And it's going to be a forum for all of our members. You guys can go on there, and you can see comments, and you can see the responses. You can see the pictures that you send in. So there's so much more information going to be available to you in the near future. Because right now, when I'm answering questions, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. There's no format to share any of that information. So it's going to have the same kind of community concept as our comment section, only with expanded information, expanded answers, and, of course, pictures and video. Also a great way that you guys can share your success stories on, your, on our channel. So it'll be kind of fun. The reason we're doing the forum is because we're getting ready to expand that service. And well, I'll just throw this out there right now. If you are a retired plumber or a retired electrician or a retired, let's see, what else do you think we might need in there? Things that I'm not the most amazing at, but I do okay. Let's just start there. All right, guys, contact me if you are looking for an opportunity where you might be able to jump in and join us and be one of the, how should we say, moderators or a, a person in that that, that area of expertise that would be willing to lend your time and be a moderator and help grow the channel and help people have successful renovations. If you got a heart for helping people, then let me know because we'd love to get some professional electrician and plumber in there so that you guys are getting good and sound advice dealing with materials that maybe I'm not dealing with in my neighborhood or codes down in the United States that I'm not as familiar with. So all of those kind of issues. I'd love to be able to have some more moderators in that chat so that you can say, here's my question, and you can put it in a certain file, okay? And say, so the electrician knows which ones are his, and he can go and take a look at that, so on and so on and so on. I just thought you might like that. Oh, it's, yeah, you like that idea, Melanie? I mean, I'm looking at the chat here right now. Oh, you know, wow. Love my mother-in-law. <laughs> I like turtles. Man, this is like entertainment. I could just sit here and read the chat all night long. It's pretty cool. How's everybody doing out there, COVID landing? Eh? I know there's a lot of weirdness going on in the world. Man, you guys got elections going on down there in the South soon. We're getting crazy COVID numbers up here. Apparently, Ottawa is some kind of a hot spot. Personally, I think it's got something to do with the fact that it's freaking cold up here. And we're getting weather changing now. So we're not adjusting to it as well as we should be. And I think everyone's just getting a little peakish and sick and worn out. Hey, Paul Peck from the Paul Peck Drywall Tube. Cheers, Paul. Dude's got a good channel, so, you know, feel free to check that out. Uh, there's lots of great information out there from different perspectives and different experiences. 
And Paul is a good guy, so feel free to give him a check. That would be cool. Um, Cameron says he's a 10-year electrician. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Uh, why do people think all Canadian contractors know each other? We do. We actually do. There's nine of us. <laughs> it's a very small country. <laughs> mm. Cheers to the UK. Canada is so super small. I'm telling you, I, uh, I turned left last week instead of right, and I found my father. I'm looking for him for years. Yeah, I'm just joking. Uh, oh, what else is going on with the channel? Well, last week, we uh, Michelle and I went down to Toronto, and we filmed three new episodes of a new TV series. And we're calling it TV because it's going to be more of a TV style for what that is worth. We're still producing it. It's our content. But what I'm doing is I'm, I'm meeting at members' houses, and we are filming like a, like a consultation, like a walkthrough, taking a look at your project, talk about the do's and the don'ts. But most importantly, it's what I would do if I was you. So it's kind of like a, I take a look, immerse myself in what's going on, and then I'm just saying, giving you my advice. If, if tomorrow I woke up and I was you, this is what I would do moving forward. So the series is called, What Would Jeff Do? And um, if, you know, if you've, you've known anybody who's ever been to church, you might get a kick out of it. Uh, it's going to be WWJD. Yeah, I know it's kind of fun. A little play on words there, guys. Don't let it bother you. It's just a little bit of humor. Anyway, it's kind of cool. So we, we shot three episodes. We got one guy who's renovating his entire house from like 1905. We got one person who has a relatively newer home. It's kind of like late 80s. And they want to get rid of the center wall in the house and go all open concept. And so we did a huge consultation on that project. And a lot of information there steering them to how to pick a contractor. What's the DIY? What's the process you should follow? Because, you know, some of these guys out there, actually contractors want you to sign a contract and get committed before they even open things up because they they, they love the idea of not having a scope of work <laughs> because they own you <laughs> so we're going to teach you guys how to design a scope of work and know exactly what you're getting involved with so you have no unforeseen and the last episode we shot was a uh, uh, somebody who actually bought a house just as the covid crisis hit back in march i got something in mind ah. Yeah, that didn't work. And anyway, so he bought this house and he gutted it and he's getting ready for a rebuild. It's a 1925, which is a little newer. So there's a lot of construction changes that happened from 1905 to 1925. It'll be awesome on camera. He's got some really interesting ideas what to do with the place. And again, it's a little narrower. It wants to go up in concept. It's got tall ceilings. So it's a dream come true as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, so as soon as they let me out of my cage and I can start traveling the world, Michelle and I got plans to go all over the United States. We we're even thinking of flying to Japan because, well, we got we got a member named Scott, cheers, out in Japan. And uh, we'd like to go visit and, and see what it's like going on out there in Japan as far as construction technology and talk about that sort of thing too. Um, Australia, hmm, down under, perhaps. Um, I'm not going to get too crazy there, but. I would love to go all over the world, just to be honest with you. We even have people inviting us to come out to Hawaii. Man, that's that's really hard to turn down, right? Right? Especially in the winter. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to winter. I think we're going to be stuck here this winter. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh. All right. Yes, we're going to be filming from our membership. Our members have privileges they didn't even know about because you're going to subject yourself to all my wild and crazy dreams. <laughs> Ah, there is just going to be no stopping us once we get going, guys. We're a little over 1.3 million subscribers. The channel's doing well. Everything's growing. You guys are awesome. Our members are amazing. They help to make sure that this thing is financially viable. And I, uh, I just got to say thanks. I mean, it's been quite a ride. So the better we do, the more we're going to do, right? This is going to get bigger and better all the time. So this is what we're doing. So the language, Spanish language, uh, it starts tonight. It's a short video, okay? I, we didn't do a three-hour video for you. <laughs> it's just like introduction. The next few weeks, we're going to be releasing one video a week, and we'll see how the team does with keeping up. If they can produce content faster than that, then by all means, we'll make it available faster. But it's, uh, it's a work in progress. So, hi, Jeff. Can you email me? Sure, Melvin, you can email me. All you got to do is join the membership program, and then you go to the community page, and we'll have a little note there in the community tab with an email 
and you can contact me that way. Um, right now, I'm renovating my farmhouse. I don't know if some of you maybe have seen. We have our other channel, Reality Renovation, where we have more like project style videos, right? It's a different flavor. Uh, it's kind of Max's uh, heartbeat, right? He, he loves this channel. So much work for him. And he gets really super creative. But we've been releasing content about our farmhouse. We've got a few episodes there. And then the what would Jeff do videos are going to be coming out there soon as well. I think we will have one coming out next Friday. Um, it's going to be a video we shot a couple months back with a couple from Ottawa. And we're excited to get that out. And then we have a whole series of the farmhouse renovation projects coming up. I'm telling you, it's going to be amazing. we got quite a year in line for you guys because we've been filming like mad animals. Oh, Carlos from El Salvador. Cheers to you, Carlos. I hope, uh, I hope you speak a little bit of Spanish down there, buddy, so you can enjoy the new channel. Uh, looking forward to your feedback. But listen, like, support us, love us. Get on there, subscribe, hit the like button, watch the videos, tell all your friends and family. Uh, let's help get this a good launch and get going because we would really like to be able to um, uh, take it from where it is now conceptually and see some success so that we, we're not, we're not going to be hesitant to invest in getting a lot of those bigger project videos translated for you guys. Okay. Uh, this, this stuff is a lot of work for other people to do, but it costs us a lot of money. So <laughs> I got no problem doing it. I just like to see it work first before I invest too much. Right. Like, oh, my goodness. Um, wow. Yeah. Who speaks Spanish? I'm thinking uh, about one third of the landmass of the world speaks Spanish. Is that fair enough to say that? Maybe it's a quarter. Maybe a third's a little much. My math, I'm a bit of an exaggerator. I don't know if you noticed. You know, that's just kind of how it works. I think it's a great investment, too. And here's the thing. Matthew, good point. If this does well... OK. And we see that it has a lot of potential for growth, then we're also going to be investing and we're going to be looking for other people to do translation for us in other languages. All right. I'd love to do one in Russian. I'd love to do one um, probably in Hindi. OK, we'll take a look at some other places. Uh, love to get your feedback on that. All right. Just saying uh, the reason we chose Spanish is because we have a lot of Spanish viewers and. I know a lot of people that are Spanish or bilingual and understand, you know, they can they can hear and they can talk the language okay, but it'd be better if it was just in your own language. You know, let's just face it. I mean, I can even get along with a little bit of French. It's not my second language by a long shot, but, you know, if somebody was going to offer me the opportunity, I'd be like all over it, right? Uh, will my jokes be translated to, yes, <laughs> I make jokes? What the heck are you talking about? Um, if I make a joke and it's translated, hopefully the translator will even put a little spin on it so it sounds a little bit more like a regional humor and not so corny. Because I've been told I have pretty bad dad jokes, but I don't really understand all that. There's no subtitles. It's going to be dubbed, Matthew. Dubbed. It's kind of like your lips are moving and there's no sound coming out. Only when I watch the show, it's pretty cool because uh, the editor... Seem to time everything really well. It's kind of freaking me out. Uh, yeah, it's not a voiceover. It's dubbed. It literally is. You don't hear my voice anymore. And you just hear this gorgeous, masculine, Spanish-sounding voice instead. Right? It's kind of wild. It's, yeah, it's... it's you, wait till you see it. You're going to have to watch it even if you don't speak Spanish because it is a real riot. I'm telling you right now. Jeff, is YouTube your primary income now? Yes, uh, I'm all in. Um, I do not do renovations for other people anymore. And thank God for that, because the world is getting nuts. And I'm, I only got so much time, right? So I'm renovating my house. I'm going to sell it. That's probably my primary revenue stream. Uh, I'm fortunate that I'm in a position I'm able to do that. But we do have a timeline or I'm going to go broke. <laughs> So I am definitely trying to get that house finished by the end of the year because it has got to get on the market. Daddy needs his money back. Oh, my goodness. Mm. And then, of course, we're going to buy another house and then we're going to fix that one up and we're going to sell it and we're going to go on and on and on and on. The goal in the channel here is to try to do a lot of different styles of homes, different income brackets in different regions, okay, different ages, 
So right now we're doing the old farmhouse. That's cute. The next one, I'm really hoping we close this deal on soon. It's actually going to be a mobile home. I know. And I can't tell you on my plans because, well, they're secret. And I'll tell you later. But the point is, we want to do a mobile home. We want to strip it down a little bit so people understand how they're built and what's, what goes into them. There's a lot of different uh, construction technology there. So by doing that, I'm sure we're going to be able to help a lot of people. They'll also be creative. And to realize that just because it's a mobile home doesn't mean you have limitations and how sexy it can be, right? Because like, give me a box and I'll turn it into something beautiful, right? This is the whole idea on this channel. And then after that, uh, we're going to do another house, really hoping a bungalow. I want to get myself a bungalow so I can rip the roof off and change a whole lot of cool things. I think it'd be a lot of fun because there are a lot of uh, really affordable renovations available out there on the market for some older homes that aren't that old. We're talking 50s or 60s. And you can make some awesome modifications and turn them into absolute modern living paradise. Net zero. Like I'm talking really cool, awesome renos. You can do them yourself. We're going to show you how. Um, yeah. <laughs> Take the wheels off. Yeah, hmm. yeah, well, I guess it all depends on how strong the wind is if it's going to be mobile. Anyway, let's see. Come on down to Florida for a winter project. Yeah, we'd love to do that. Let me tell you, Paul, we spent a couple months in Florida last year, um, and it was a great physical break, right? Uh, mentally, it was work, though, because we were preparing for our, our tour, which got canceled, and so that was interesting. I've got a lot going on. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay, let me get a skin and jump in the chat here a little bit. I'll see if I can answer some questions. I uh, can't wait. Okay. Uh, shit. Oh, so Kelsey's got a great question. They're re renovating their kitchen. They want to know if they should pay someone to tape mud or if they can do it yourself. Well, Kelsey, that sounds like you've never done it before. Now, generally, a kitchen has a lot of lighting. So, yes, you can do it yourself. I'm never going to tell anybody they can't do it themselves. The question is, while you're trying to do it yourself and learning, do you feel confident in the process and in the instruction and the teaching and how it's being translated, right? If, if step one and step two don't go real well for you, um, getting all the way to the finish may not work out too well the first time around. So like I try to tell people, you know, a basement's a great place to start to learn how to tape or a bathroom or a bedroom or a living room. Kitchens can be tricky because they usually have a big wall that the light is shining in. A lot of houses, the kitchen faces the sunshine and all of the flaws will be really visible. So, you know what? At the end of the day, if you try it and you're not happy with it, you can hire a taper to come in and in one or two coats, they can fix just about anything. Right? And so for me to pay a taper to do two coats and finish, I would rather try it just to find out if I've got the goods. You know what I mean? Like the royal jelly, the, the whatever you want to call it. You either, you either got that kind of dexterity and that creative spirit or you don't. It's a great way to find out. Yeah, let's see. Should I go with trekking or treated woods for my decks? Yeah, that's a tough one, right? Like, here's kind of how I see it. If you're building a deck for yourself and you're going to be there for a long time, and you like the idea of having a deck that you can wear your shoes on and it's got great wear and tear, then getting composite is awesome. But if you're doing a deck and you're more concerned about budget than design, then going with wood, it's a no-brainer, right? Because that other stuff costs a pretty penny. And if you're resurfacing a deck, in a lot of cases, you've got to change your whole structure because they have different requirements for that kind of composite than they do for wood. So it becomes a lot of extra work. Uh, what's the friendliest mud for beginners? <laughs> Wet. <laughs> Take the all-purpose compound that you find in your store, all right, and add, add about this much water to it and then blend it up real good. Get a mixer, mixing blade, and a, and a powerful drill. That is the best mud, okay? If you don't add water to it, you're in trouble. If you add water to it, it's awesome to work with because it's creamy smooth. It doesn't bubble. The tape won't bubble, all right? That little extra moisture goes a long way, and that's what makes your success. Uh, 16 by 24 living room pot lights. Boom, 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 boom. I would go with uh, 8 to 12. Put it on a dimmer. You never go wrong with 12. 
<laughs> oh, here come the questions. What kind of stain do you recommend for a front porch redo? And do you have any tips or tricks for this kind of project? Yeah, if you're going to redo a front porch. Wow, that's tough. Um, I would say the best way to do a front porch is become a member and send me a picture. <laughs> Honestly, uh, there is a lot of different kinds of wood, a lot of different ages, a lot of different styles. Is it tongue and groove? Is it just butted up together? Um, is it just stain or has it been painted? Is it painted and primed and you got to get all of that material off first? Is your wood strong enough to hold the screws or starting to suffer some dry roll out? There's a lot of issues there that you got to be able to address. What's your climate? Is it facing north, south, east, or west? Location of the home. There's so many things. There's no such thing as one right way to do anything. Nothing. Everything in life comes with options and choices because we've got companies making products and processes for people who live in a lot of different environments and a lot of different aged homes. And there's just no one way to fit all. I mean, the only thing that is consistent is finishing. How to tape and how to paint. New construction is the same everywhere you go. Outside of that, everything has got nuances. And so if you're in 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 if you're asking questions and you can't get an answer, all right, join the membership program. Because for five bucks, you can get in here, ask me a good question, and I'll give you an honest answer that'll save your bacon. All right. You don't need to go through a whole process and try something and then it fails and then and then go, oops, I guess their advice wasn't any good. And for God's sake, no matter what you do, do not take advice from anyone wearing an orange apron who isn't over the age of 65, who wasn't in the trades all their life. OK. Yeah. Words to live by. Just because you got an orange apron on doesn't mean, you know, Jack squattily diddly about what we're doing in the renovation business. All right. You know, there's a great question. Wow. Almost forgot. Okay. Christopher's asking me, what are your thoughts on vinyl flooring? Would you consider it to be a high-end building material? Yes, Christopher, I would. If you buy high-end vinyl flooring. <laughs> Listen, it's uh, we did a video. It's coming up in a couple of weeks. And I compared a bunch of different products on the market. I went to the box stores and I, I, I measured them all up against each other, uh, cost per square foot, um, the thickness, the wear layer, the durability, the locking system, um, the yes or no with the under pad on it, all of that stuff. I just totally dissected the market that's being presented to you as a consumer because although each of those stores, main box stores, are carrying maybe a dozen different varieties and then a few colors, they really only have three or four options there that are even viable. Most of it's junk. And the ones that are viable may not be the best product in its class, okay? So you got to be real careful because these stores are not out there trying to sell you the best product. They're trying to sell you whatever makes them the most money, all right? And sometimes selling you a product that's guaranteed to fail is a great way to make money because as a homeowner, you're more likely to blame yourself and your installation than you are going to the product, okay? So don't be duped. Watch my videos. We're going to do a lot more. Hey, Sandy Rose is in the house. Hi, Sandy. Don't be a consumer that lets them have so much credibility in your eyes that you forget to ask the important question. <laughs> and, and the question, of course, is what does Jeff think? Because I'll tell you the goods. No one's paying me for my opinion. Actually, it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's kind of rough on me because I actually went... Okay, there we go. Just got some hot news in here. <laughs> Guys, we uh, came live tonight to tell you about this. Spanish Channel language video. All right, the video is now released. Um, I know we just got started. I wasn't planning on being here very long tonight. It really, the whole goal was to tell you to go check out the other channel. All right, watch that video. If you could do that for us, that would be amazing. Yeah, hot off the press. Love letter from my wife. And basically, ready for this is it. Um, everybody's so busy watching the live show, no one's watching the video on the other channel. <laughs> all right, so here's the deal. Uh, love you all. Stay safe. Take care of your families. And one more quick note before I let you go. 
I was listening to the radio today and very disturbing. Uh, it turns out that uh, twice as many people are calling in on the distress line, all right, related to uh, uh, abuse in the home during COVID than before. Uh, message to the men out there. Uh, be men for God's sake. All right, don't let your stress overwhelm you and take it out on the ladies. All right, that ain't cool. Yeah, uh, I'll leave it with that. But that kind of crap can't be going on, right? So I understand times are tough. Go out and beat on the tree, all right? Uh, anyway, listen, uh, enjoy that. Go watch it uh, for no other reason. Watch the video and get a good laugh. Uh, and uh, we will do this again soon. I'll put up a community post and give you a heads up next time. All right. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing this weekend, but maybe we'll find some time to do a live show this weekend for you. That might be a lot of fun. Okay. All righty. Listen, cheers, guys. I will talk to you later. If you didn't get an answer to your question and you'd like to ask it, then, um, yeah, join the membership program. We'll see you there. All right. Cheers. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah.